about how you just sit down and you say to yourself, it's time to do another album. When is that moment? Uh, well, you know, I, I don't know when that moment is. You just kind of, it's sort of like anything, if you're on stage, you don't think. Um, I didn't sit down and think of that moment. Um, it kind of came about, oh, probably about four and a half years ago. And everybody started talking about bat three, bat three, bat three. And I, the minute people start talking about it, I go, oh, yeah, that's a really great idea. That's really wonderful. What the hell are we going to do? Um, and it didn't come full circle until last October when Desmond Child said that he was going to produce it. And it didn't even... When we started it, my, I continued to say, um, you can't just call something Bad at a Health 3. You can't, it can't be just a marketing tool. It has to be, because yeah, you can get some attention from it because it's called Bad at a Health 3, but it doesn't serve any purpose. It's, it's a waste of time and a waste of effort and a waste of uh, my energy, an audience's energy. So it, needs, it has to reach levels that other things don't reach. And it wasn't until, there's a song on the album called If God Could Talk. I knew we had If It Ain't Broke, I knew we had Land of the Pigs, I knew we had other pieces of, of this thing. But it wasn't until I heard if God could talk that I say to myself, okay, now we're venturing to a real level that we need to go to. And I, it gave me goosebumps. And I said, this is an extraordinary piece of music. A lot of the music that you write, you know, it's epic, it's operatic, it, 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 it's rock in, in a different way. And it plays well in the United States. It's English, obviously, when you speak it. it plays, How does this stuff translate? Does it, does it, it? translates it translate very well because it's, I mean, if somebody doesn't understand English at all, then we got a problem. But I think it translates, I think people feel emotion whether they completely understand it or not. I think there's, and that's what you try to achieve if you're an actor, if you're a singer, if you're a, if you're a writer of novels, you want to reach an, an emotional connection with your audience. And that's what you strive to do. That's what you need to do. That's what you have to do. If you don't do that, that's when you failed. That's a failure. If you can't re reach an emotional connection with any part of your audience and totally leave them out of an entire moment and opportunity, then you've, you've failed. A Meatloaf album, oh. that album is a collaborative effort. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nothing more than a spoke in a wheel and then I become the Campbell Soup salesman. <laughs> and when you have this collaborative... The only difference between me and a can of soup is I have an opinion. <laughs> when you have this collaborative effort, it's not just, um, you know, it's not just the producers. You know, you say, let's get that guy from Queen in here to play guitar. Let's get that guy from Marilyn Manson in here to help me on this album. Uh, yeah, you I know, mean... How, how do you come... How, where does that thought process take you? Well, you just... Because it's an event. It's like... It's like it's like the towering inferno. <laughs> let's go get Paul Newman. Let's go get let's go get. I can't remember all the people in Towering Inferno. What a weird analogy that was. But you know, I, I went to Towering Inferno. When did they make Towering Inferno? For holy moly, <laughs> how how old is that movie? <laughs> people are going Towering Inferno. What's that? Uh, it's an event, you know. It's like Brian May. Like Brian May. Oh, Rusty Anderson for Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. We had people like Richie Sambora coming on the record, but he broke his collarbone. He still hurts, you know. He's out with John, and he's still, you know, they're Bon Jovi's tour, and he's still in pain, yeah. and he can't move his arm right, but he can play. But back then, he was coming in, but he broke his collarbone. We had other people that wanted to play on it, but their time commitment. Uh, they were on tour, they were doing something, we were, it, and if they became available, it was past the time 
we were already we were moved on. So, do you find yourself in a position where you actually have to turn people away because they hear Meatloaf's doing an album? Hell yeah, I want to. Be- no, 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 no. But we 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 do reach out to a lot. You know, this is the first time we've reached out to so many people. Um, usually before we've kept it pretty internal. Um, on we did reach out to Melissa Etheridge on for anything for love. And I think, I, I know she wanted to do it, but the management thought, well, we don't know, you know. Well, that's, there, that's a management's mistake, so. Right. So this is like the return of the Jedi of the Bat Out of Hell trilogy. It's the last one of an epic series. <laughs> yeah, I is guess. It the last one? Well, yeah, I don't have enough time in my life to do another one. It's, you gotta figure out the gaps between them and figure out how old I'll be when the next one, if we were to try to do another one. I don't think, you know, doing Bad at Hell 4 with a walker will work. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. You bet. Thank you. To you. Okay. Try to stay cool in here, huh?